President Paul Kagame, who is also the commander-in-chief of Rwanda Defense Force, on Wednesday retired hundreds of senior soldiers, coinciding with the advancement of young soldiers within the nation's security framework. The senior officers are among the 9 and 24 men and women discharged from service on different grounds, including clocking retirement age, 65 for generals, as well as others whose contracts ended or were released on medical grounds. It is one of the biggest retirements in RDF in recent years. The latest lot includes some of the most senior officers who played a key role in the Rwanda Patriotic Front Liberation struggle before going on to serve in different capacities, both in the military and in government. The list also includes those still serving in different positions, even as they retire. Among those retiring is General James Kabarebi, who until now still serves as the special advisor to President Kagame on security and previously served as the Minister of Defense and Chief of Defense Staff. Others include General Fred Ibingira, who served as the Chief of Staff Reserve Forces as well as other positions, including as Division I Commander at different times, and Lieutenant General Charles Kayonga, who served as Chief of Defense from February 2010 to June 2013, when he was replaced by Lieutenant General Patrick Nyamvumba. Between 2014 and 2019, General Kayonga served as Rwanda's ambassador to China. Despite being recalled, he remained in active service in Rwanda Defense Force. Others retiring include Lieutenant General Frank Mushio Kamanzi, who is Rwanda's current ambassador to Russia since 2021. From April 2017 to May 2019, Lieutenant General Mushio Kamanzi served as the force commander for the United Nations mission in South Sudan, and previously, he led the United Nations African Union mission in Darfur. Since 2016, he served as Army Chief of Staff in the Rwanda Defense Force from 2012 to 2015. He was previously served as the Rwanda Defense Force Chief of Staff. Others going into retirement include Maj General Martin Inzaramba, Maj General Eric Murokore, Maj General Augustine Turagara, Maj General Charles Karamba, who is Rwanda's ambassador designate to Ethiopia and the African Union, Maj General Albert Murasira, recently appointed Minister of Emergency Management, and Brig General Chris Murari. In the same light, President Kagame approved the retirement of 86 senior non commissioned offices while 678 members of the military went to retirement after their contracts ended. Among those retired are 160 soldiers who were discharged on medical grounds. Meetings with Rwanda's Chief of Defense Staff, the Ambassador of the United Arab Emirates to Rwanda, and the Defense Attaché of Cameroon, were also conducted to explore how to enhance defense cooperation between their respective countries. Due to constitutional changes that were made in 2015, Kagame can continue serving as president until 2034. On the same day, Kagame elevated several young officers to the rank of colonel and designated new generals to lead military divisions. In parallel, Cameroon's President Paul Biya, one of Africa's longest-serving leaders, enacted fresh appointments within the Defense Ministry's Central Administrative Unit as outlined in a decree shared on social media.